You ready for this, Vilya? You ready to take a false crown, a fake crown? I mean, it's a real crown, but it's not the crown. It is the alternate crown. Ha -ha! Although I gotta say, I'm real curious to see what would happen. <sighs> oh, God. Oh. Wasn't curious to see that happen. I would be very curious to see what would happen if we gave Umbakano the the real helmet, the helmet that he has long sought. Oh, or what if I could ask him about it? Do you think I could go to him and say like, "Hey, I talked to her." What are you doing? What are you planning? Or what if I could find a way to unlock the secrets of... the crown? Now I'm curious. Man... <laughs> I miss the zombies. Like, I'm just kinda tired of Draugr in Skyrim, but I miss the zombies. The fact that they could be headless or armless and they could be missing limbs and stuff. To me, that was so cool. Combine that with, uh, decapitation from Skyrim. Yeah. And you could, you know, knock the head off a zombie yeah. and they could keep coming after you. Oh. Uh. Or, you know, more similar to how, I guess, with, uh, Fallout, there was more dismemberment and stuff. Still, I think that could be really, really top-notch. So add that to my list of things for The Elder Scrolls VI. Zombies, headless zombies, and just, you know, some light dismemberment. For enemies, not for me. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, I was looking around. I also don't know where Vilya went. You get on that. Now, now drop. There we go. Did it kill him? No, because he didn't stand on the spikes. Get back yeah. in there. Get back in there. Now, no, no, no. Back down you go. Back down you go. Come on, back, back down. I'm trying to get it to take him down. Yeah, didn't put him on the spikes again. Damn it. Yeah. That's right. Now, back down you go. Back down you go. Back down you go. Come on. Come on, knock him off. Knock him in there. Come on, down! Down! Yeah! I was very committed to that. I just wanted to use it for my own gain. Oh, that's blood. Oh, I see the spikes. Wait! But there's a push block up there. I don't see spikes on this one, though. Yeah, there's not. Oh, that just opened. Yeah. All right. Wait, 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 wait. No, you guys, you guys come over here. Come over here. Step on that. Ooh, listen to that crunch. Didn't kill them. Get back on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on target. Stay on target. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, I don't think it got them. Neither of them. You zombies suck. Fine, I'll just kill you myself like a normal person. I gotta re enchant the sword again. What else is new? I gotta re enchant the sword every five minutes. That's why I just never bother re enchanting things, because it's just, ugh. I mean, it's a balancing thing. It's like, oh, we don't want you to just use this constantly, but I kind of miss Morrowind, how items would just re-enchant themselves over time. Is that a... Yep, that's a, that's a ghost. I just walked right past him before, huh? You can hear every couple seconds there's a... Uh... A non-combat track that's trying to start, like a non-combat music track trying to start. And it cuts itself off because of the ghost. There he is. 
and boop. Beautiful. Ooh, Ring of Fire Shield. I'm okay, but nice to know I had the option. No idea where Vilya went. No idea what happened to her. No, she's not even here. Oh, there she is. Hi. That's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Uh, what's up? Do you know the name of this ruin? Lynn Dai. I can't even answer her. Talk later. I do know the the name of the ruin. <laughs> At least let me answer. Oh, I assumed that a uh, skeleton was going to be summoned by the lich. No. Oh no, this one is summoned by summoned by a lich. There's another lich hanging around, and I found him. On. Almost dead. Okay, not the right person. Almost. Boom. Here it is. This uh, the carved stone that Hermina Herminia Cinna gave you fits seamlessly into the hole in this door. Oh, 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 oh. We also didn't have enough liches in Skyrim. I guess the Dragon Priests were kind of like liches. I mean, they were real sons of liches at some points, but... I just want to see more uh, enemy variety in... The Elder Scrolls 6, and it's so funny that I don't think that much about the Elder Scrolls 6 or what I would want to see in it when I'm playing Skyrim. But when I'm playing Oblivion, oh man, I just have all the things that I want to see. Here we go. The Aeliad Crown of Lindai. Light Armor. Fortify Alteration. Fortify Illusion. Resist Magicka. I found the crown, the Aeliad, or I found the Aeliad Crown of Lindai just as Herminia Sinna said. Now to return to Umbacano to complete my task. Oh, Varla stone cages, I need to raise these. Nope, no, no, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, I thought it was coming back down. I, <laughs> for a second, it looked like it was already going back down and I would have to time it and make sure I grabbed it in time, but no. I'm being silly. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty straightforward. Ha -ha! Oh, okay. You fight him. You make friends everywhere we go, Vilya. I respect it. Oh, man, I was hoping that when I dropped down, I would be on the other side of this thing. No, I'm... I gotta go through this again. Vilya, have fun with that skeleton. You know where to find me. Back at Umbacano's Manor. Oh. Never mind. Also, while we're here, let me just discover this fort or castle or whatever it is. Curious to see which one it is. But yeah, I'm just curious if I can find out what Umbacano's endgame is. Like, what he thought he was going to accomplish with the, uh, the other crown. Come on, almost dead. Nice. I mean, you killed him, not me, but still. Nice. Is there another one? Who's there? Oh! Okay. Will-o'-wisps. I was looking for, uh... 
I was looking for a goddamn minotaur. Did you drop your you dropped your axe? Vilio, do you know how good of an axe this is? And you're just dropping it? I'm gonna repair it for you, and then you're gonna use it, okay? I'm a little offended right now. The funny thing is she has other weapons she can use. Where are you walking to? What are you looking for? There's no enemies here. Calm down, Vilia. Oh, it's been raining a lot lately. Like, there's been a lot of rain these past few days in Cyrodiil. Oh, and it's morning. Well, that's perfect, because we have to go see him in the morning anyway. You there, who are you? Hey, you. Well met. Okay. Oh, he's one of the night guards, isn't he? He's seeing you. I think he is. How do you do? What can I do for you, Sir Knight? You can take me to see Umbakano. Shall I show you up? That would be preferable. Very good. Please follow me. Yeah, I'm curious if I can ask him about the other stuff. Like, ask him what he was planning. Jalring, I know steps are hard. I know that in your old age you must have some difficulty. Just get on your hands and knees and crawl up them if you have to. Like a big baby. Ah, the treasure hunter. Please, have a seat. Mm-hmm. Don't mind if I do. Is there anything I can do for you? Ah, yes. My treasure hunting friend. What can I do for you? Oh, he has new rumors? There's been trouble with smugglers and Khajiit bandits okay, I've in heard the that trans... One. I've heard that one. Yeah, alright. I just have uh, the one dialogue option. Have you brought me the crown of the aliens? Yes. Absolutely the crown that you asked for, too. And he'll go, hmm, that's suspicious that you said it that way. No, no it's not. Interesting. These markings are unexpected. Uh -oh. The royal glyph is not as described by Sorkalin. Uh oh. But no matter. This is clearly authentic alien workmanship. Later ages have never seen the like. Oof. To think that I hold the very crown that once graced the brow of the last alien king. Oof. Even to gaze upon it would have been death to any one of the lesser races in the old days. I thank you again for your efforts. I have one final task for you, if you are still willing to face danger on my behalf. What do you need me to do? In order to bring my research on the last King of the Aliens to its final stage, I need to go to the throne room of Nenalata. While I am not without means of defending myself, I believe you would be an invaluable companion on such an expedition. Your reward will be whatever plunder you wish to carry off from Nanalata. Since the throne room has been sealed since the time of the aliens, it should provide rich pickings. I'll see you at Nanalata. Very well. Three days, then. Don't be late. All right, three days. Remember, I will be expecting you at Nanalata in three days' time. Well, what day is it? Loredas, 20th of Rain's Hand. Oh, Rain's Hand. That would explain it. That would do it. Hmm, I now understand why it's been so rainy lately. It's just Tamriel April. Gotcha. Let me head to the Market District. I need to sell just everything. Let me see if Claude is here. I want to talk to Claude. I want to see what Claude knows about any of this. No? No Claude? Who are you? Have you seen moving around? It's like he sometimes just disappears. Look at the He's muscles on one. you. I understand Hi. he'll teach others to be sneaky too. Goodbye. What can I do for you, Sir Knight? Do you work here? I don't know if you do. The Imperial Watch seems awfully worried about the Grey Fox. Look at all those wanted posters. Okay. Good day. My pleasure, really. I just... I want to find Claude. 
He probably still hates me. He's probably just pissed about all of that. Probably never wants to see me again. And I'm okay with that, honestly. I am Gemelus Axius, Earl Jackman's manservant. He did not inform me of your visit. Who? Also, what is with your... Oh, God, your eyebrows. You're very angry, sir. I don't know who you are. You too. Now you're happy. You the look like Earl? Who's comfortable in heavy armor. Who's the Earl? I don't know who this is. I want to see if I can get a decent spell. I know it says discount spells, but still, you never know. It might be something good. Edgar Vautrin, you don't want the very best. You want cheap. And I got cheap. <laughs> I like your style. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Water breathing, summon scamp, snowball, major wound. I kind of need... I need soul trap at some point. What can I interest you in? You know, the spell that I should have had... Previously. The spell I should have had when I was back in the first era. Farewell. But no. Is there someone else who sells spells here? What yeah. In that case? Mystic Emporium. That was easy right across the street. Might not be cheap, but it might be good. A pleasure to speak with you. The pleasure's all mine. Let's do business. Nothing. Let's touch a raise. Oh! Frenzy up to level 18 for 30 seconds. Okay. Well, nothing I need, nothing I want. But thank you. You too. I'll be seeing you. So it hasn't been three days, but they are already here. I figured I would just come to see if they would be here and just explore the area Don't if they worry. weren't. I hold no grudges. You bested me. I am man enough to admit it. Oh, that's good. Don't worry, my friend. This time we are on the same side. Umbakano wants us both to guide him through Nenelata. All right. I'm glad to hear it. Stop talking. Enough. <laughs> oh. Here you are at last. I know exactly where the throne room lies. Your job is simply to get me there safely. You... No, you follow me. Lead the way. What we're probably going to do is we're going to get inside, and then we'll tell him to wait. If he can die, then I don't want him following the entire time. Yes? Is there a problem? Especially if there's traps. If there's traps, then absolutely you stay here. Very well. Scout ahead and return when it is safe. Oh, so if we had the real crown right now... You think you can beat me? That's... Go ahead! This is when we would find out... No, 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 no! Umbacano! Umbacano! No! I said wait! No! No, 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 no! No! Umbacano! Umbacano! Where is he running to? Why are you running? I said wait! Where is he going? Like, fortunately, no one's attacking him, but... Oh my god, I gotta follow him, I gotta follow him. What is he doing? No! Oh my god, you idiot! Maybe he's marked as essential. Maybe he's marked as essential. Maybe we're gonna be okay. I don't have high hopes, though. His health is pretty good right now. Yeah, for just a collector, for just a historian, never mind. What a dumbass. What an absolute fucking moron. So we've learned the hard way that you suck. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. God damn it. Oh. Let me just kill the lich. Let me just kill the lich. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. Whew. Hey, Umbacano. Yes? 
Is there a problem? There is a problem. I don't trust you, but you're gonna wait right here instead of following me inside. Very well. Scout ahead and return when it is safe. I figured telling you to wait at the very beginning of the dungeon meant you would wait. That you wouldn't go anywhere. Oh, does Claude not follow us in? Does Claude follow him? Not me. It would seem so. It would make sense. Claude's not gonna follow me. I'm not the boss. I'm not the one paying him. Claude's gonna stick with Umbacano. You know what would make it funnier? In a terrible way. And it just yeah. wouldn't happen just because of how, you know, the game works, how the cells load in and out. But if, like, a mud crab spawned just by Umbacana while I was in here and killed him while I was in here. Like, the character's not loaded right now, there's nothing that can happen out there. But can you imagine, I just suddenly got a notification. It's like, Umbacano has died, and the secrets die with him. And I go outside and there's just a mud crab yeah. standing over his body. I'm not afraid of you. Julie, my friend I would You're cry bastard. a little. Would definitely cry a little bit. Oh, I missed that time. I mainly just need to figure out how deep this place is, how deep Nanolata is. But suffice it to say, my marker is pointing not to the throne room, but to Umbacano. So it's not like I'm wandering aimlessly, but I have a little bit less direction this way. Oh, we found a door. Do we bring him in here? Yeah, all right. Let's do that. This is cleared out. This area is safe now. Let's bring him in, and we'll stop him at that door. Then I can continue into Nenalata Wendacel. Wendacel, whatever it's called. That way I don't need to make one long trip back. I can just make shorter trips back. Which, that's preferable to me. And like I said, I get out here and Umbacano's just dead to a mud crab. Yes? Is there a problem? Nope, follow me. Lead the way. Is there someone on that boat? No, I don't think so. At first I thought there was someone on the boat. And I just wanted to look. <gasps> Alright. Wait, where is... There you are, Claude. Get in here. Get in here. Whole party's gotta stick together, alright? Yes? Is there a problem? Now you are gonna wait here. Very well. Scout ahead and return when it is safe. He waited his entire life to get to this moment. Worked his entire life to get here. Immediately rushes in and dies. Which, I mean, yeah, he's probably just super eager, super anxious. Especially if he's trying to use the crown to become all-powerful, but... It's like, you have to think about your own safety. Your adventurers can't protect you if you run ahead and fight everyone single-handedly. Okay. Did... Yeah, okay. That... Ooh, ooh, I took some damage. Uh, the skeleton I just hit... ...was summoned by the other skeleton. 
Okay, and Vilya got them, so that's good. I think I hit Vilya with that. It's hard to tell sometimes. A hard cask? That makes me feel like there might be something worth taking. Ah, 65 gold, yeah. I'm already close to 20,000 gold again. Funny enough. I'm just looking for Do traps. Do you know of any cure for vampirism? Do you... Did you get bitten? Are you, you feeling okay, Vilya? Do we have to put you down? Oh god, what if that could happen? Like, what if she could be infected and then... Instead of me having to go through the quest to cure my vampirism, I had to do it for Vilya. But I still had all the, uh... Not all the annoyances, but some of the annoyances. We could only travel at night. Because, you know, during daylight you just take a lot of sun damage. Oh, they silenced me! Uh, don't fight that, that's the lich's... That's the lich's skeleton, just fight the lich instead. It's okay, I can take him, I can take him. Need a heal soon, I think my... Okay, okay, my silence wore off. Oh, it's the Lich's? Oh! The Lich summoned the Wraith, too! Are we getting close? I think we are. I'm not... Bring him in, bringing him in here until I know it's safe. Yes, okay. Let's go grab him. I feel like it's going to be slightly anticlimactic when I get to the throne room and then I go, Oh, good, I'm here. Let me run back and get Umbacano real quick. Yes? Is there a problem? Ah, uh, just wait here. Very well. Scout ahead and return when it is safe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I will bring him when it's safe, but oh man, it is not safe at all anywhere in Nenalata. Oh, hi, see? Point proven. Come on, finish him off! So close! Boom. And that's even without the enchantment on. On my way back to Umbacano, I did loot some of the Aeliad reliquaries and chests, and ooh, got an ebony bow, got an ebony shield, I got some big ticket items, I got some pricey memorabilia. I'm ready to sell, I'm ready to get all my gold back. Which it kind of goes to show, if I had really, really wanted to, I probably could have had 50,000 gold, 100,000 gold, if I just looted every dumbass bandit that I found along the way. Every bandit, every <laughs> random uh, person out there. This is it. Oh, this is it. Told you, anticlimactic. All right, let's go grab him. Oh, come on, Umbacano, it's safe. How do you know? It's like, well, I killed everyone, and the gate opened for me. I think it was meant to open for you, but it opened for me instead. Also, I did see a little panel there. That panel is where we place the item from Malata. Like, I noticed that for sure. Yes? Is there a problem? No, just need you to follow me. Lead the way. I'll show you when we get there. It was that little rectangular kind of like socket, I guess you could say. The same socket that we got the tablet from Malata in. The same one that, you know, Claude tried to kill us over because he's an asshole. See, right there. Right there. 
Come on in, don't be shy. You've waited your whole life for this. And just in case we're about to get murdered, let me save. This is it. Just as Sorkalin described it. Follow me. Of Ariel, ye Tamriel, Delavoy, and Arpin Arantanabai. That's not suspicious at all. <laughs> Here it is. The throne of the last king of the Eliots. And so it falls to me to begin the restoration of our ancient glory. Excuse me? Our? Our? Ancient glory? Umbakano was horribly destroyed in Nenalana when he declared himself king of the aliens using the crown of the rival city of Lindai. Now to escape the wrath of the undead denizens of <sighs> Nenalana. Quick, I just, I want his stuff. <laughs> Dagger of Winter, boom. Crown of Lindai, worthless, but boom. Oh, you didn't... Talk to me. Wait. You won the last round. I salute your bold spirit. Oh, I didn't get to hear his line. An unfortunate end to a profitable relationship. Where will we find another like him? I so wonder was... how he could have miscalculated so badly. Those old elves didn't seem as glad to see him as he expected, eh? So... Farewell, my friend. Was he alien? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I was actually... Coincidentally enough, reading something a little earlier today about the alien. Because the alien weren't exactly wiped out. Like, the alien weren't all destroyed. Some took refuge um, in other parts of Tamriel. Such as Valenwood. And it was the thing of they were allowed to stay, they were allowed to integrate into Valenwood as long as they accepted the practice, the cultures so on and so forth. So the alien lost their identity. Like their cultural identity. So I'm just sure as time went on and everything, they just kind of faded away. They faded into obscurity as they settled down and, uh, you know, had kids with the other races, the other elven races. So he probably just traced his heritage back. <laughs> I'm just trying not to kill Maud. I uh, Maud Claude, <laughs> Maud. You're an 80 year old woman, Claude. How do you feel about that? Oh, is this the way out now? Okay, just gotta go back the way we came. Well, I kept him alive. I'm happy about that. Wait, how do I get out of here? Okay, there's gonna be a push block of some kind. It's not behind the throne. Oh no, no push block. We gotta go this way. Claude, you coming? Claude, are you following us? You wanna stay here, buddy? And so we meet again. What can I do for you this time? Just come on, come with me. No? Okay. Farewell, my friend. Okay. Well, I'm getting out of here. Oh, what do you think his butler is going to say? How do you think he's going to feel about this? Probably not thrilled. Probably not thrilled. Well, just one way to find out. Uh... Yeah, it's still just marking that as the active quest. I got out. I'm gonna go back to Umbacano's Manor. Oh. Hi. You really fought that Umaril creature <laughs> in the sky over the Imperial City? Oh. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that. Oh, would you like to see when I murdered your master? My master has not returned from his expedition to Nanalata. I fear the worst, 
but Umbakano Manor remains in my charge, and I will keep it in readiness for his return. I can't tell you that I killed him? Goodbye. Wait, what do I... I escaped Nenalata. Oh, no, it's under... Oh, it's under finished quests. Okay, never mind. Okay. I didn't even notice that it wrapped up. Well, that's good. I'm just checking to see if there's anything I can do while I wait for the Priory, for the Castle of the Nine. Yeah, I've met Valerius. Number of suggestions for upgrades to the castle. Can I do missions and stuff? Require me to coordinate patrols and possibly take part in military action, but will provide me a castle to operate from all expenses for the Knights of the Nine. Oh, and all expenses for the Knights of the Nine will be paid by the Empire. Yeah. If there are quests, I guess it'll just come to me as time goes on. Well, there goes Umpacano. Oh, no one's gonna pay me for the statues now! Oh! Oh, I just lost out on... Ah! Oh. Mmm! He was gonna pay me for the full set, and now he's dead! Damn it! I did not think that one through. Oh well. On to the next money-making scheme then. On to the next adventure.